Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadway and welcome to my YouTube channel. Till now we have understood how to access the Azure Data Lake storage with the session scoped authentication and the cluster scoped authentication. Now in this video we will understand how to access the Azure Data Lake storage with the Azure Active Directory pass through authentication. So let us go to Databricks workspace and understand the same. Hello everyone. I am Vijay Gadway and welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video we understood about the cluster scoped authentication. Now in this video we will understand Azure Active Directory pass through authentication. So here I am on the Azure portal. I have opened the Databricks workspace. This is the cluster, cluster 01. It is up and running as well as I have created this notebook access Azure Data Lake using credential pass through. Here I already connected the cluster to the notebook. Go to the cluster. Click on edit. Now scroll down. Go to advanced options. And here you can see Azure Data Lake storage credential pass through. When a user runs a command on cluster with credential pass through enabled, that user's Active Directory credentials will be automatically passed through the Spark, allowing them to access data in Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 1 and Gen 2. And this is without having to manually specifying their credentials. Let us click on the Learn More. Here you will get all the information. This is the Azure documentation for the same. You can explore this as well. Let us enable the credential pass through for user level data access. This is deprecated starting with the Databricks runtime 15.0 and will be removed for future Databricks runtime versions. Note down this. Now confirm and restart. The cluster is restarting here. It will take bit time to restart. So I'll fast forward the process. So the cluster is restarted successfully. Let us go to notebook and try to access the content. It will show error here. Let us wait for some time to execute this cell. Here we are getting execution error. To access the data, we have to do one more thing. I'll open another Azure portal here. Then go to storage accounts. This is the storage account that we are accessing. Gen2 storage 248. Now go to access control. Here we have to add role assignment. Search here blob. Storage blob data contributor. Select this role. Next user, group or service principal, select members, here we have to select the member, this one, the member with the hash, select, select, review plus assign and again review plus assign, adding the role assignment here and the role assignment is added successfully. Now wait for few minutes and execute these two cells and we will have the access to Azure Data Lake storage. Let us try to execute now. It is still showing error. We have to wait for few minutes. I have waited for five minutes. Let us execute this cell again. Now it should work and this is the content of the demo container. Let us try to read the data data from this file automobile price data dot csv great so we are able to read the data from the file so this video about accessing the azure data lake credential pass through ends here now go to cluster edit go to advanced options and disable the credential pass through Confirm and restart the cluster. So this video about accessing the Azure Data Lake storage using the credential pass through ends here.
and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.